Hello, this is the Faithful Planner Girl. I want to welcome everybody back today. Welcome, welcome. And anyone new here, hello and welcome to you as well. Please hit that subscribe button and like this video if you want to see more of them just like these. So I'll know what to post for later. Okay, let's get going. Today I thought I would show you a little bit about how do I do a Bible study. This is the one that I'm currently on um, this year. It's called, this Bible is the She Reads Truth Bible. And this is a Christian Standard Bible version made by Holman. And I have been doing this, um, started some last year. I stopped when I started a different devotional. And I did that for a full year, but um, I am now back in this because I want to finish this out. This Bible I truly, truly love because they have these great um, ways to read the Bible all the way through, not missing anything. The devotional I did last year, I really enjoyed, but it wasn't going through the entire scripture. It kind of gives you a parody, of, you know, you do a little here, a little there, back and forth. One of those that you read um, in the, um, the New Testament, I mean, the Old Testament, excuse me, and then the New Testament, and then it brings you back into Psalms. So you were kind of going back and forth, which was fun. It was great. I love that. But this year I wanted to get back to this where I'm reading every single scripture where you're not missing anything. So this She Reads Truth Bible, like I said, I love this because it gives you um, what exactly the first couple of paragraphs that you read. And if you want, each day you can do, you know, that. And, but what I am doing is it says going deeper and that part there, it shows you what scriptures you should read next that also go with this chapter. So that's what I chose to do. So um, I'm going to move ahead here and show you where I am. And I am now on Psalms 113. And what I did first is I take these scriptures here and I am going to write the scripture, which ones, the chapter, the books, which ones I'm going to read. So I grab my faithful planner here and I write it right here, which chapters I'm going to go over. Then the part that I said, going deeper, which is right next to it, these two chapters or scriptures, I'm going to write those here. So I just go ahead and go down the list out of this and I write each one down for each day I'm going to do this. Excuse me. So as you notice, they give you the weekends off, which is great for me right now. That's what I'm going to do. I was just continually reading when I started it before, but now I'm going to give myself a break of those two days because that's usually when I play catch up. If there's one day or so that I didn't get this done during the week, I can catch up and get them in so I'm not, you know, behind. There is no such thing is behind. Don't, I'm not supposed to say that word, right? <laughs> if you saw my other video, we are not behind. We're right where we're supposed to be. So I'm not on a time schedule. No, we are where we're supposed to be with our walk with the Lord. And I just write those out so I know what I want to do each week. So that's how I'm doing it. And if I want to do some further research on one word or something that really spoke to me and came up, I will use these two days 
to also go back in to one of these that I read before and I want to get more information on it. So that's how I'm using it. So I'm going to get started. Now it's showing here the books I'm going to read is Psalms 113 through 115. So I'll read those first three out of this Bible. And after I do that, as I'm reading, I mark things that I really are, you know, that strikes me. Something I'm really learning about what these chapters are talking about. So just underlying things that really are meaningful to you. And then after I do that, then I come down to the observation. This is that SOAP message, S-O-A-P, like I explained before in some other videos, if you saw that. And that is the scripture, the observation, application, and prayer. So, I always start off my daily day with prayer, of course, before I even open the Bible. Start that way first so the Holy Spirit can lead you where he wants you to go. Then I come in here after I read the Bible, do my markings, and then I'll come back in here and write the most important part of what we're observing. What are we supposed to get out of this? Then after I do that, then you go down to application and you write how, maybe what can I do to get out to get more out of this you know what how should I apply this in my life my daily life what what how how does this pertain to me so that is how I am doing my scripture reading and my studying so let me go ahead and I'm going to um, just highlight or I underline what m the things that is going to pertain to and stick in my mind that I want to remember and then I will come back to you after I do that I'll show you what I filled out okay I'll be right back okay I read those three chapters and I marked what is important of what I want to get out of it and remember and now what I do is I go down these next two verses this is the part that you go deeper I am going to look up those scriptures right now and then what I do is I write them out here in my journaling Bible so if they're way too long sometimes they can get to be you know eight verses or more then I put them in another little notebook. I happen to have right here and I will start writing those down. But usually lately it's been where I can just fit them in on the sides. So I'm going to read this in the Bible and I'm going to write those scriptures down and then I will be right back with you. Okay, and I'm back. And now you can see that I looked up those going deeper scriptures and added those right into the Bible, right next to the chapters that I'm reading. Okay. And what I am using um, are the Sharpie fine um, felt tip ink that's what I use I just wanted to show you that that they work fine in the Bible they don't bleed through but you can see a little bit of the ghosting from the other page it's not quite as bad in in person I think the camera picks it up a little bit more but anyways it does not bleed through you can use those or micron um, felt tips too. They're very, very 
good. I'm trying to find my other ones. And they have different, um, different sizes. This is the 0.45, but they get smaller, um, different points that you, you can find. I'll try to find that link below where I showed before of what these markers are and, and what I do and use. So after I go ahead and read this, put my underlines on the things that pertain to me, what I want to remember, then I come back in with my um, answers here about what we were reading. That's what we're observing. And then I come down here of what we should do, the application. And then I also mark these off that I've done them. I've read each and everything, and that's pretty much how I study the Bible each day. Sometimes I have other studies going on at the same time, which I do currently. <laughs> but um, this is the one I'm really going to stick to and have been at the start of this year. So I hope this has helped you to understand how maybe you can use your faithful planner too. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for sticking with me. And remember to like this um, video if you want to see some more videos like this. Thank you again and please have a blessed day.